There is a massive elephant in the room on my channel. I mean, I've covered all the greats on here. Goatsy, Jarman, Two Girls, One Cup, the BME Pain Olympics. You know, all the classics. But there's one that eludes me. One that, whenever I'm interviewed and asked about if there's a video I've tried to do but it just never comes together, it's this one. That being, Lemon Party. It's one of the classic shock sites of all time. And there is a bit of lore for me to go over, but I feel like with all of the classic shock site videos that I have on this channel, we always wind up digging up something a little extra about the origins of it. You know, like where it really came from, who these people were. And while there is a lot of interesting stuff about this for me to talk about, I've never been fully satisfied with what I'm getting for a Lemon Party video. That being said, there is quite a bit that we do know that might surprise you and perhaps some ways that we can finally get to the bottom of this. So for today's episode, let's talk about Lemon Party, what we know about it, and what we can do about it. Is it, fellas, my white whale of shock site lore, Lemon Party. This video was sponsored by Helix. Helix makes premium mattresses and bedding, custom fit to your needs and shipped right to your door. I've had my Helix mattress for well over a year now, and I'm still having amazing sleep on that mattress. When I had first gotten my Helix mattress, I had been complaining about neck pain and back pain, and since I've been on it, it is yet to return. It's really easy to get a Helix mattress of your own. You just take their sleep quiz, which helps determine what mattress is right for you based on your preferences and sleeping style. Since I'm a side sleeper who likes a soft mattress, they gave me the sunset. And if you're nervous about buying a mattress from the internet, Helix gives you a 100 nights of sleep trial. That's more than three months. And if you don't like the mattress, they'll pick it up right from your door and issue a full refund. If you do like it, each Helix mattress has a 10 year warranty. And you don't have to spend a lot of money right up front with Helix's financing and payment plans. Just click the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash wang. You'll get up to $200 off your Helix Sleep mattress as well as two free pillows. For those of you who don't know what Lemon Party is, and surprisingly from people I've talked to in real life about my plans for this video, a lot of people actually don't know what Lemon Party is. So for those of you, here's what it is. Much in the tradition of bait and switch websites like GoatC, you send off a link to your butt on AOL Instant Messenger to lemonparty.org. Sees the message, pauses his game of Eternal Darkness, puts down his Pepsi Blue, and he goes, hey, Lemon Party. Bet that's like Hamster Dance or something. He clicks on it and this ain't no hamster dance. You got three naked old men kissing each other and sucking each other's dicks. And it's all set to If You Want to Be Happy by Jimmy Soul, which in itself will become a meme later on again on YTMND. So you see this happening, you're like, oh no, you got me. And this is 2002, so like this is like the golden age of making fun of your bros for gay stuff. The perfect meme for this period in time. And sure enough, getting to be like, hi, you're gay, bro. And having your bro be like, oh no, bro, you made me gay, bro. In the early 2000s, I had enough gas to make it kind of a mainstream sensation, which wasn't terribly common at the time. You got radio shows, comedy shows, talk shows, all talk about, you know, at least three men blowing each other. At this point in time, a common vector for people getting sent to Lemon Party was dressing it up as if it were a political ad of some sort. You know, people with pictures of signs, sick of gas prices, lemonparty.org. And it's a good angle, because, you know, like, Lemon Party, that sounds like it could be the name of a political party or something. And the thing is, it actually was a political party. In fact, the real Lemon Party predates the website by decades. In 1987, the Lemon Party of Canada, or Parti Citron, was formed in Canada by Denis R. Patineau, who is a figurehead, of course, for their true leader, Pope Terence I, who may or may not have actually existed. Probably didn't, though. Using the slogan, For a Bitter Canada, their goal was to shift Canada's economy to focus on lemons. They wanted to make Canada the lemon capital of the world. But there's a bit of a problem. You see, lemon trees, they usually need a bit of a warmer climate, and as you might know, Canada can get kind of cold. You know, lemon trees, they thrive in places like Southern California, Mexico, India. But the Lemon Party had a plan. Rather than fight global warming, they would actively encourage global warming until Canada became the prime spot to grow lemon trees. <laughs> They also wanted to abolish Toronto, repeal the law of gravity, and merge the Great Lakes. Obviously not an actual serious political party, more of a work of satire, but nevertheless, they were registered. Furman Supreme would be proud. And although the Lemon Party was only actually officially registered until the early 90s, they did have somewhat of a presence until at least the mid-2000s. 
with press releases as recent as 2006, at which time Post Terrence rose from the dead to continue his mission of a bitter Canada. What this means is, the original Lemon Party did have somewhat of an overlap in time frame with LemonParty.org, which of course makes you probably ask the question, did this Lemon Party, the satirical political party, have something to do with LemonParty.org? And it's not really clear. They have never officially claimed it, but LemonParty.org was in fact registered in Canada. And this could be the type of wacky stunt a joke political party might pull. At the same time though, they did have a real website, LemonParty.VZE.com, which although not updated since 2006, was actually still online surprisingly recently. LemonParty.org itself has been sold and changed hands a number of times, usually keeping the original source material but now with added porn ads. And actually, while well, checking up on it a few months ago, and I'm glad I took screenshots then because it's gone now, it was redirecting to a strange chat room about seemingly nothing in particular. But the real meat of this story to me, what's the deal with the actual picture? Who are these men? What is their connection to the website? Was this from a photo shoot? Or something that was surreptitiously caught on camera at a swingers party or something? My gut tells me that whoever made this website simply went to Lycos or Hotbot or something and looked up gay old man born and found the most striking image they could use. But it's always felt like there just needed to be something more of this. I've always had a theory that there were several images that existed of the Lemon Party, just sitting around on some random website waiting to be found. And I know it's pretty weird to be curious about different angles of old man dicks from decades gone by. But at this point, it's such a part of history, part of our culture. It would almost be a kind of a earth-shattering revelation to uncover the rest of the Lemon Party. I even took to AI to try and figure this out. So there's this thing I use sometimes, it's called PimEyes. It's actually kind of creepy, because it's an AI facial search engine. It's the kind of thing that it seems like something that would be useful in my line of work, however, it's never actually yielded me something I can use. This case being no exception. So I put the Lemon Party image into the AI search engine. Of the three men, it could only identify one of their faces as a face. The one Japanese looking dude. Most of what turns up is just other sites hosting the same Lemon Party image. Sometimes as a collection of classic memes, others as a collection of various pictures of naked old men. And then you go down to the low quality search results, and you just get a bunch of guys who vaguely resemble the guy. I'm not gonna share their faces, cause I mean, it would be kinda fucked up to be like, look at these guys, they look like the Lemon Party. Party guys, not them, but just look at them. But the guys, they definitely look like the guy, but they're mostly definitely too young to be him. And that's kind of like where the trail stops for me. Every time I look into this story, it's just, you meet this dead end, and I figured it was finally time. One reality that we may have to face, though, you know, the Goatsy Man was one of the world's most prolific asshole spreaders in history. The Jar Man turned out to have a prolific history of shoving all kinds of things up his ass as well as other orifices. The director of Two Girls, One Cup was basically the Leonardo da Vinci of shit porn. But maybe the guys from Lemon Party were just a bunch of guys. The only thing I could think is maybe of the million something people subscribed to this channel, somebody just happens to know something. Essentially, this video is half shock site lore, half lost media. The most mysterious old man dicks on the internet. But yeah, if you have further knowledge about the Lemon Party, let me know. Anyway, that's all for now. If you like this video, check out my old video about Goatsy. I'm out.